New tonight, the West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection held a virtual public meeting tonight on a proposed permit modification that could lead to some increased emissions from the Washington Works Plan. DEP engineer Jonathan Carney provided more information about what DuPont Specialty Products wants to do under the permit. The company wants to install an emergency safety flare. This is a device that would help to control certain emissions in certain upset conditions or emergencies the facility may face. At the same time, the natural gas pilot light of the flare will lead to an increase in some emissions, including pollutants like carbon monoxide. DEP communications officer Terry Fletcher said these increased emissions would not be hazardous to the environment or to human health because they are still within accepted regulatory levels. And if they're staying in compliance and they, they've demonstrated it through the permitting process that they can operate in a way that is com in compliance with those rules and regulations, um, you know, we, we don't expect any any adverse impacts to air quality in the area. You can read about other changes DuPont Specialty Products is seeking in the permit and find a comment from a member of the public who spoke during the meeting at WTAP.com. When we reported on this public meeting last night, we incorrectly stated that Comores was seeking the permit modification. DuPont Specialty Products is a tenant at the Washington Works Plant, which Comores owns. DuPont Specialty Products is the only party seeking a permit modification. Comores is not involved in this process. New